Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Friday spot here on Pagan Perspective. Say hi. Say hello. Say hi, internet peoples. <laughs> Um, it's kind of chilly out, so she's shaking and I'm shaking, but it's also still pretty, at least to me, because the sun's not out. But anyway, this week we are discussing uh, spiritualism, spirituality, and religion, and what we think the differences between the two are, and if spirituality has caused religion to become too commercialized. Um, at least I, I, that's what I gathered from the question. So, um, what I think the difference between spirituality and religion first off is, religion is more structured. Religion is like the way that you practice, and spirituality is what you actually believe and how you view the world and different things like that, in my opinion. And um, how do I think the two go together or don't go together? I think the two go together. I don't think they ever could not go together. Um, a lot of people will say that religion can't go with spirituality because you're limiting yourself. Um, but in my opinion, I think people are limiting themselves too much. Like, they're thinking labels are too much. They're thinking all these rules too much. Um, you're not just, you know, living life. And spirituality is kind of that existence, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm distracted by the cold and the ferret. Burps. But anyway, um, in my opinion, religion is how you practice spirituality is what you believe. And um, the person who asked this question said that most people nowadays are more spiritual than they were religious. And they asked if we thought that that um, made them become more of a victim to commercialized equipment. Like, I don't know, selling guided meditations. Uh, selling spell kits, I don't know, like, you know, things that they commercial, they, they commercialize things out of anything, really, and, um, they're gonna commercialize religion, they're gonna commercialize spirituality, they're gonna commercialize it, no matter what you call it, um, I don't know, I don't really think spiritual people are more, like, God, get down, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't think spiritual people are more open to um, getting ripped off for their money's worth, you know what I mean? Like, I think spiritual people are probably least likely to do that, because um, what's going on is, in religion, people will say stuff like, oh, well, you need this to do that, or you need that to do this, um, and in spirituality, it's more like, Oh, well, you don't, you don't have money to spend that on your budget? Well, whatever, just, you know, don't buy it. Use something else. <laughs> um, but religion is not a bad thing at all. Uh, I consider myself religious. Uh, I consider religion almost like ceremonial magic, if anybody knows what that is. Hold on, Pops is running away. She's shaking. So I'm trying to let her crawl around because she's excited and outside, but... I don't want her to run off. Quit, calm down. I'm doing a video. <laughs> um, but if anything, I think religious people are more, uh, I don't know the word, like more, huh. <laughs> sorry, they're more, um, uh, brain fart. You know what I mean? They're, they're going to buy things that they don't necessarily need more often than spiritual people are, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, what religion is to me is kind of like ceremonial magic, and what ceremonial magic does for me is, yes, in the back of my mind, I know that none of these rules really mean anything, and I could really just be doing whatever the crap I want, but whenever you make up rules with magic and energy and spirituality, whenever you make up rules, aka religion, um, you make something more special. It's kind of like how whenever you do candles at a certain time, and ribbons, and color correspondence, you know, it's that kind of thing. Um, whenever you make something more special to you, and you feel like it has to be done a special way, or something, um, 
I think that really adds to your magic and your spirituality, and you can really build a system of magic, pretty much. And, um, whoa, ferret. Yeah. Anyway, I think religi religious people are probably more likely to buy things and be commercialized than spiritual people, because spiritual people is such a vast term, it's like, what do we even sell to them except, you know, like, meditation -y and yoga things. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get off here, she's freaking out. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye.